Hello, and welcome to Orchestra's how-to series. Today, we're going to be looking at how to do a stock correction in SAP Business One 2007. So, let's dig right in. And right here in our inventory, inventory transactions, we have two options, a goods receipt and a goods issue. Now, both of these allow us to make an inventory transaction without the corresponding purchasing or sales document. Um, a goods receipt obviously brings goods into inventory, a goods issue takes them out. So let's take the scenario. We've just done a stock check and we have five more units on the count than the inventory is showing. So we need to make a stock correction. Let's increase our quantity of our item by five units. And if we look, we have a unit price of 575 um, for a total inventory increase of 2875. Now this unit price is pulled from the last purchase price list in this case, but we can pull it from the last evaluated price or any of our predefined price lists. It can also be overrode manually. As we see, we're pulling the inventory into warehouse one and our debiting account will be inventory. The offset will be the inventory offset account, which I have defined in the global settings. This can be overridden or if you prefer, just completely omitted from the form and always use the default. So let's make a remark. Remarks are always a good idea. Correction. Inventory short. Yeah. Count. By five minutes. We'll say add. Okay, we get our message. This item cannot, or this document is permanent. You cannot change it. What this means is that I cannot go back and cancel this document. What I would have to do in order to cancel it or to, uh, to nullify it is to go back and do a goods issue. So let's say again, now it's six months down the road, we do our next count and we're five units too high in inventory. So we need to reduce our inventory by five units. We're gonna reduce five units from warehouse one um, and we're going to hit the inventory offset account uh, that we've predefined. And we're going to say correction for errant stock count. That way in the future we'll know why we did this. And the, this is exactly the same as a goods receipt with one exception. In the goods issue, you cannot define cost. Cost will always be controlled by the system at whatever you have defined as your current costing method. So we're going to say add, cannot change the document, and we're good to go. So we have just uh, made a five unit increase to inventory, and we've also made a five unit decrease. Now, one other use for the goods receipt goods issue is if, for example, you're not a production shop, but let's say you've gotten a, a crate of inventory and you're going to unpack it into a separate item, a, a totally different SKU. What you can do is issue a SKU of one item. So this is the received package and I'm going to issue two units. Okay, I have just brought those units out. I have to define the serial numbers for that particular item. Okay, I have just re removed those two units from inventory. Now if I wanna go back and I want to see my item cost was $500 per unit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a goods receipt for a separate item code. Um, let's call this batch item. And I'm, I, I issued two, but I'm going to receive 10. So there were five per box for a unit price of 100 per uh, item. Therefore, we have a net zero change to inventory. Um, if it is conceivable that it would add inventory value or decrease inventory value, you can always alter your goods receipt unit price to affect what you would like it to be. All right, so that is how we would do a stock correction. And if you have any other questions, uh, please feel free to give us a call, www.orchestrateam.com. Um, oops, that would be our web address, or on the phone, 559-477-4256. Uh, thank you, and have a great day.